everyone, so in today's video I am going to be doing a drugstore testing makeup video. All the products I've used in this video are drugstore only. All the products I've never ever used before so it's like a first impressions video as well. But I just created a pink halo eye as you can see. I really enjoyed filming this video so I really hope you enjoy it. The background, I just have to say, is different because my window's over there and it's now got dark outside. So I've had to use my mirror lights. So that's why the lighting's all different and I think I look a little bit paler. So if you'd like to see how I created this makeup look, then just keep watching. So here's my box of goodies and I'm just going to dive right in. So firstly, we are going to start off with primer and I got my primer from e.l.f. This is the primer. So it's just called the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. It's infused with tea tree and vitamins A and E to help skin looking youthful. Oops. So I've tilted you up a little bit now, so I'm just going to apply the primer to my hand. I'm just going to apply it with my fingers. Just dot it around my face. It smells really nice. You can smell the tea tree in it. So hopefully will be good for my skin, but we'll soon see. So that is on. It feels really refreshing and you can smell the tea tree like crazy. It does feel nice, it feels refreshing. Let's move on to the foundation. For foundation I have another e.l.f. product. I've never ever tried e.l.f. before so this is the foundation. Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Natural. It says previously porcelain, so I'm guessing they had like a shade change. But, oh, it says here on the box. Duh. It just says, new name, same colour. So I got this in the shade Natural, but it was called porcelain. This is what it looks like. It's in a, like, glass bottle. It just says, apply generously 15 minutes before sun exposure. Um, it does say foundation on the box, but I'm a bit confused because it says oil-free SPF 15 sunscreen. Oh well, it's the only foundation I've got, so let's use it. I'm just going to pump this foundation or sunscreen on the back of my hand, if it'll... Oh, oh, there we go. It's finally coming out. It may be a bit yellow. I did just read on the back of the box that it says the purpose for this is sunscreen. So this will be perfect in the summer. Yes, yeah, so if you see me looking over there, it's because my mirror's there. So this probably won't be full coverage. But let's just apply it and see how it goes. Um, I'm using the Morphe sponge, by the way. I think it's called a flawless complexion sponge. So that's the foundation all blended in. I'm going to zoom you in just so then you can see. As you can see, it is very like sheer cover because it's meant to be like for sun cream. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll read the packaging properly. But all in all, I don't really know what about the foundation yet. I think the primer is alright. I, I think I'll use the primer again, but I'm not too sure about the foundation. So next up, I have concealer. For the concealer, I've gone for the Revolution concealer that everyone has been raving about, and I got it in the shade C1. <laughs> there we go. I've done it. Hopefully this will give us a bit more coverage. It's very light. I think I did get the lightest shade to be fair. I'm gonna just blend it out because I've never used this one before. So I don't want it to like dry up. But I have heard very good things about this concealer. I've heard that it's a good dupe for the tart shape tape. So fingers crossed it is. So I've blended that out and compared to the other side of my face, it has brightened it up so much. 
as you can see like here it's so bright definitely has given me a lot more coverage i like this so i'm just gonna do the rest of my face So yeah, all in all, I really, really do like this concealer. I can see why everyone's like raving about it. Next up is powder. I've never tried this product before either. I'm gonna say that about every product to be fair because I haven't tried any of these products before. But for powder, I picked up Romeo Match Perfection. I've heard good things about this too. It's the loose powder. Um, and I got that in transparent 001. This is lightweight, smooth and soft face powder. So I like loose powders better than compact. I just don't feel like compact powders like set my face well. Um, so inside it comes with a little puff that just like fell out. So it comes with a little puff. I don't really use these things. I use brushes. So I'm gonna just put that to the side. And I think this has like a screen on it. Great, it's gonna be so easy to open with fake nails. I finally got it open now, so I'm just gonna tip it into the lid and hope for the best. I just don't want it to go everywhere. So it's in my lid. I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques brush and just set my under eyes and just the small places where my big brush can't get. Now I've set my under eyes and around my nose and everything, I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics V1 powder brush and just set the rest of my face. I really do like that powder, it's done what it was meant to do and it's set my face, I feel a lot more covered as well now so like now I've put the concealer and the powder on I feel like I've got a lot more coverage. Everything else so far I'm quite liking so um, don't mind my cat if you can see my cat. <laughs> Let's move on to the next product. So the next thing I'm going to go on to is brows. So for the brows, I've picked out the Revolution Brow Pomade. This looks like this in soft brown. So I'm gonna try this out. I haven't yet opened it. Oh. So it comes with a little brush. I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna stick with my brow brush. It reminds me ever so much of the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade, which I think it is meant to resemble. Just obviously a cheaper version. So these are the eyebrows. One always goes better than the other. This is my favourite eyebrow. Um, this one I think just needs to plug in a little bit. I do really like the pomade. I think it's fab. So now my eyebrows are done, I'm going to move back onto my face. The next product is bronzer. And for bronzer, I have this Bourjois Paris bronzing powder. I've heard everyone move on about this as well. This was like an old trend. Reminds me a little bit of Too Faced in a way. So yeah, I'm going to try this bronzing powder out. I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics V3 brush. It's just like this angled face brush. I love it. So I'm just gonna dip my brush into the powder. Oh my gosh, it does smell of chocolate. Tap it off. And just see what it's like. This is what the bronzer looks like. I really do like it. It's given me a really, really nice bit of colour. It looks so much harsher on the camera than what it does 
in real life but I really do like it so I'm now just going to contour my nose with it I've just contoured my nose using my NARS Eater brush I think it's called gosh why does everything look so much harsher on the camera I promise it's not that harsh in real life let me just blend it out with this brush. So next up is blush. The blush I've got is the Makeup Revolution or just, I think it's just called Revolution now actually. I think they've changed their name. But a Revolution Vid, Vivid, blah, blah, blah. here I go again. Vivid Baked Blush it's in the shade Bang Bang You're Dead. That's nice. But this is what it looks like. It's quite pink. To be fair, so let's see how this works. So I'm just gonna put this on my face with my Real Techniques Duo Fiber Face Brush and see, it looks very pigmented. So let's see how this applies. Oh my gosh, I look pink. Let me just blend it with my face brush I mistook how like pigmented that is <laughs> I don't think that made any sense of what I just said I don't very often use blush to be fair it looks all right I don't know if I'll use it again probably not because it's just so shiny and I like a matte blush let me zoom you in and see if like it'll show up on the camera I don't know if you can see it. It does look quite nice to be fair, but you can definitely see like the shininess and like the pink. It's just a bit too pink for me. I prefer a like peachy blush. That's more me. But it's okay. The last thing for the face is highlight. So for highlight, I picked up this e.l.f. baked highlighter. This is in the shade Moonlight Pearls. This is what the highlight looks like. It looks quite shiny. Fingers crossed it's pigmented because I do love my highlight. So let's just test it out. I'm going to be using my Morphe M501 brush. Just looks like this. Wasn't expecting that at all. I was expecting it to be like really dull, but it is quite shimmery and it's not chunky, like it doesn't have specks of glitter or anything in it. It just like gives it that wet effect. So now I'm going to move on to eyes and I think you already know what palette I'm going to be using. I bought the Soap Does Nails Times Revolution eyeshadow palette. I'm really excited to use this because I've heard so many good things about it and I love watching Sophie's videos and the shades in it are absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to use them. So I'm first going to take the shade Iced Coffee. I'm going to take that on my Morphe M330 brush. I love how easily that just blended in to my eye. So I'm just going to keep putting more and more of that colour onto my lid and my crease just to build it up. Next going to take a cup of tea and I'm going to take that right into my crease. So now I've got my transition shade and my crease shade. I am now going to take a different brush. Flat shader brush, would you call it? I'm going to take Strawberry Sweets. Just apply this onto my outer and inner corner. So I'm gonna try and create a halo eye, kind of, if I can do it. <laughs> I'm 
And then I'm just going to do the exact same on the inner corner. Don't worry about how messy it looks at the minute. That will all be sorted out once I go over and blend. So this is how we're looking at the minute. I'm just going to go th back through with my Morphe M33 O brush and just blend colours together. And then I'm going to go back in with Strawberry Sweets and Pumpkin. Do the same and just build that colour the pink colour up. I'm repeating the same steps and taking my Morphe brush and just blending. Just like so. So now I've got that colour there. I think pink champagne will probably look the best. So I'm just going to take that on my finger because I think glitter eyeshadows or pigments always apply better with your finger. So apply it to the centre of my lid. Once again taking that blending brush and just making sure that there are no harsh lines and everything is just blended all together. So that is one eye done, I'm just going to go off camera and do the other eye and then I'll be back. So I'm now back and I've done both of my eyes, they just look like this. I really really like them and I love this palette. Obviously I'm not a professional makeup artist so it's not perfect obviously, um, none of this makeup is perfect but I'm really liking how this is turning out. So now I'm going to be going on to eyelashes and the eyelashes I picked up are the Ardell Demi Wispies and I've never tried Ardell lashes before and they're meant to be amazing so I'm really excited to use them. So I'm just going to go pop them on off camera. And obviously before I put the lashes on I need to do mascara which I totally forgot. So for mascara I picked up the L'Oreal Paris Baby Roll and I've never ever tried it before so let's give this a go. So this mascara has got a really really strange brush on, I've never ever seen this brush before. As you can see it's like really really twisty. It's actually quite good. So I'm just going to quickly do the other eye. As you can see my eyelashes have really lengthened and I actually really like it. So I actually didn't buy any eyeliner so I've just lined my waterlines where my eyelashes are obviously going to sit. Let's apply these lashes. That is the lashes on. I've had a little bit of a dilemma with them, but we'll just ignore that and get on with the rest of the video. But that is the lashes. I do really like them overall. It's just not my lash day today. I'm just going to go ahead and put mascara on my bottom lashes, and then we'll move straight on to lips. For lips, I picked up the Revolution Retro Lux Matte Lip Kit. I've been wanting to try these out for ages because they're meant. To, I think they're meant to be dupes for the Kylie Jenner lip kits. They come with a lip liner and a matte liquid lipstick. I got mine in the shade. It's just there, but I don't dare say that name because I won't say it right. <laughs>
This is the finished makeup look. All in all, I really, really like it. The only thing I'd say is the lipstick, the um, lip liner smelt really waxy. I do really like the colour and how it applied. It was really creamy when it was uh, being applied. The only thing is that you had to dip your brush in a lot, keep dipping it in to get more and more lipstick because the lipstick that was coming out on the brush wasn't a lot at all. But I do really like it. I have to say, my favourite product will have to be the eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love the eyeshadow palette. Oh, and the brow pomade of that as well. I wouldn't buy the blush again. I wouldn't buy the foundation. Uh, after everything, it did turn out all right, I, th I think. I think overall it did. Um, but I wouldn't buy the foundation again. I do really like every other single product in there. Obviously, everything will be listed in the description bar below. It's a bit of a change of background now, but um, my camera died, so I've just had to quickly charge the battery up, and it's getting darker outside, so I just wanted to come in front of my mirrored lights. So thank you ever so much for watching. Like this video, it will really help me out. Comment any other video ideas that you'd like me to do. Maybe subscribe to my channel if you can and if you're enjoying my videos I'd really appreciate that too. Thank you ever so much for watching everyone. Bye!